Today, I wanna to tell you why learning about macros is the key to your weight loss success. So number one, if you don't know your calories and macros, then you're probably guessing and you're probably guessing wrong. How many times have we looked down at our food and good job on you for tracking your food, you look down on your food and you try to guess, is that one cup of rice or one cup of pasta? And then you go and punch it in, but really if you threw it on the scale, it was actually two. So you just literally underestimated how many calories you're actually eating and how many carbs you're eating. And then what ends up happening is you're guessing, why am I gaining weight? Why am I gaining fat? So if you don't know your calories and your macros, you're probably guessing wrong. Now before I go on guys, give the video a like, Make sure that you're subscribed so I continue to produce these hot fire videos for you. Number two is that what are macros? So I'm gonna give you the simplified version of it. Carbs are used for short bursts of energy and they help feed the brain. So when you're going for a workout or let's say that you gotta step into your car or maybe you slip, well guess what? Carbs provide that energy for it, but it also provides the energy for your thinking capacity. So if you have a very complex job where it requires a lot of thinking, well guess what? Your brain actually burns more calories than the average person. So you actually need those carbs for your brain. Number two is the protein. Protein helps build and repair muscles. It's like glue and bricks. Imagine adding more glue and more bricks to a house. You're increasing the amount of muscle that you have. It's the same analogy. And then number three is that fats provide satiation. So it makes your foods taste good. It makes you feel more satisfied when you eat, and they also provide energy for when we aren't working out. So when your body is, they call it non-exercise related activity. So when you're just going for a walk or you're sitting there and you're keeping your body upright, that still requires energy to keep the back erect, to keep the core engaged, to keep your shoulders back. Your body is using the fats that you eat and the fats that you contain for fuel during those times. Now, what are the sources of macros? So we already talked about macros being carbs, proteins, and fats. So carbs are things like breads and fruit. Protein is things like meat and milk. And then fats are things like nuts and oils. So if you don't know what your macros and your calories are, then you're probably overeating one macro more than your body actually requires. So you can eat too many healthy carbs. You can eat too much healthy protein. You can eat way too much fats. It's not that hard. And just because maybe you thought eliminating carbs is the way to go, and then you go into a high fat diet, well, yeah, you can overeat too much bacon. And so what ends up happening with those extra calories is that they spill over into fat. So that's why it's important that you need to track your food and you know you need to know and work with the coach of how many macros of each. So how many grams of each macro should you be eating? So now that you know what macros are, you also have to know how many calories that you're actually burning. Because once you find your calories, you then break those calories down into the macro split, right? You can only get 100% of each. So knowing how many calories you're actually allotted per day and then breaking down the macros that are required for your personal needs, this is going to prevent you from gaining weight, gaining fat, and then also building lean muscle. So today I gave you a video on why learning about macros and understanding how many calories you're burning are so important for your weight loss success. So number one, if you don't know your calories and macros, you're probably guessing and you're guessing wrong. Number two is that what are macros and what are they used for? So carbs, fats, proteins, what are they used for? High intensity exercise or low energy movements? Where are good sources from like breads, meat, nuts? And if you probably don't know your macros, then there's a good chance that you're probably overeating one macro. Just because you cut carbs doesn't automatically equate to weight loss. There we have it guys. Give the video a like and let's see you track your macros.